hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello you're welcome please give this video a like a thumbs up before you start watching thank you so much so in my last update about this is fate Richard leaves the Lutra house instead of exposing Sherlyn and Pritfi to the family he felt frustrated and he left the house then Sonak she begins to instigate the Lutra family against Prita then Prita get people dressed up to go for a birthday party let's continue so now she's standing in the balcony thinks that she would have to do something big today because Prita has the same relationship even after being scolded and she cannot also trust Shelin with anything. Prita reaches the birthday venue with Pio. So she asks Pio to come out. She gave Pio the gift. Pio asks if she can keep the gift. However, Prita replies that the gift is meant for Pio's friend. Disha's mother comes out explaining that she was waiting for Pio. Prita requests Disha's mother to take care of Pio since this is Pio's first time that she is going to any party and she must not let her go outside until she comes back. Disha's mother assures Prita that Pio will be fine and they leave to go inside and Prita calls Pio to Oga again. Disha's mother assures Prita that nothing wrong would happen as Pio will be fine and they both then go inside after Pio waves goodbye to Prita. Grandma is massaging her knee and she is really suffering with pain. Prita asks if it is aching, but Grandma assures Prita that it will be fine. However, Prita asks that why is Grandma not doing her therapy, as this is why it is hurting, and she advised Grandma not to take any medicine, but also wait for her while she will bring the hot water bag that will help her. Prita leaves to bring the hot water bag for Grandma, and soon as she sees the phone of Prita and then picking the phone up, she leaves, saying that now this would help her achieve her plan, because when Pew would not be brought back early, then she will call the house crying. Sonak she takes the phone of Prita to her room, answering the call of Roma, who asks her to come and pick Pio within half an hour as the party has ended. Sonak she says that the technology is for the good use, but people like her use it for their own benefit. She blocks the contact of Roma from the phone of Prita while saving her contact as Roma, and then she tested Prita that the party has ended, but the children are enjoying, so Prita can come after one hour. Sherlyn seeing Sonakshi asks that what is Sonakshi doing with the phone of Prita. However, before Sonakshi can reply, Karina calls Sherlyn. Sonakshi seeing Karina immediately leaves. Karina asks Sherlyn that where did she go to as they were searching for her. Sherlyn says that she went to talk with a friend of Rishab as she doesn't know why Rishab left all of a sudden. Karina says that Sherlyn really cares for Rishab while Rishab left without saying anything and Karina requests Sherlyn to stay with her for some time as she is feeling really tensed. Sonak she places Prita's phone in the room and she turns to leave. However, she is stopped by grandma who asks that what is she doing here. Sonak she says that she was going to the kitchen, so can she bring juice for grandma. However, grandma replies that she is fine. Grandma then leaves. Prita brings the hot water bag asking grandma to let her massage her knee. Grandma however says that she can do it herself. Prita replies that she will come back and check grandma within 15 minutes. Prita thinks that she can therefore go to give the medicine to Mahesh and Grandma agrees. Prita is working and Sonak she wonders why is Prita not checking her phone. Prita entering the room asks Mahesh if he has taken his medicine. However, Mahesh replies that he has not because they fell down and because he could not pick them up. And then Piu came there and he then started playing with Piu so he left the room. Meanwhile, Girish threw the medicine in the bin. Prita asks that why is Mahesh not being careful, but then she suggests that she will buy the medicine on her way back after picking Pio up from the party. Mahesh agrees so he goes to the bathroom and Prita sees the message on her phone and she thinks of first bringing the medicine. So now she's standing in the hall thinks that now her plan will be fulfilled. Roma is with the children and seeing them off as their parents come to pick them. Pio sees the car of Prita, however, Roma doesn't let her go. Sonak she calls Piu pretending to be Prita, asking Roma to let Piu come as she will take her home. Piu is running towards the car, but before Piu can reach the car, some people kidnap Piu and put her in a van, and this really worries Sonakshi. Mahesh sitting with everyone says that this is not right, as both Rishab and Karan are his son, and they should have at least discussed the matter with him, but Grandma explains that Mahesh is thinking too much. However, Karina also defends her brother, saying that she also believes that Mahesh is saying the truth. Raki comes with the tea, but Prita stops Mahesh from drinking it. Mahesh asks that why can he not drink the tea. Prita says that Mahesh can have the tea, but he should first take the medicine. 
Maya says that Prita is a daughter for him, so he no longer needs his son. Karina, in frustration, asks Mahesh to never talk like this because Prita is just his daughter-in-law and not his daughter. Mahesh, however, replies that he has considered Prita to be his daughter even before Prita gets married. Prita once again asks Mahesh to have the medicine and Mahesh requests Prita not to scold him in front of everyone. But Prita replies that who else is here because they all are a family. And Mahesh is sitting with his mother, his sister and his wife. And Prita forces Mahesh to have the medicine while Grandma is just smiling. Sonakshi enters the house and she seems really worried. Karan also comes there seeing whom Mahesh says that he will talk with him after some time. Karan asks that where is Piu? Prita replies that she has gone to the party of Disha. Karan says that the party has ended. However, Prita says that she will show Karan the message of Roma that says that she should come later to pick Piu. And this worries Sonakshi. And Sonakshi thinks that she has made the biggest mistake of her life as Piu got kidnapped. A gangster is waiting for his friend to arrive. Vicky enters greeting them all. He then sits in front of the computer, explaining that he will do something that will make sure that their voices is not revealed and also that no one will be able to find them. And he wonders where is the girl. And then their woman accomplice brings Piu, saying that Piu is still unconscious and he asks Vicky to shoot her, which worries everyone. He then says that he meant that they should take Piu's photos. Prita assures everyone that she saw the test and she will read it to them. Karan says that Prita might have made a mistake. However, Prita is sure that she saw the test that she should come later. So now she thinks that she has deleted the message and she sent a new one, which reads that Prita should come on time and pick Piu since she has already opened it. Then Prita cannot find it and Prita will look like a liar to everyone. Prita shows Karan the message in which he says that she should come to pick Piu on time. Karan replies that Prita should have read the message carefully as he says that the party has ended a long time ago and Prita should come to pick Piu up. Mayesh asks that what is the problem as Prita should call them once again. Sonak she tries to create a scene by saying that Piu would have been waiting outside the house. However, Prita replies that why would Piu be waiting outside as Roma would have arranged for the party inside the house. Prita tries calling the number and Sonakshi quickly managed to end the call because she was calling Sonakshi instead of Roma. Karan himself doubts Roma's contact and Roma immediately asks if Piu has reached back home. Prita in panic asks that how is this possible. Sonakshi jumps in, saying that Prita is the mother of Piu, so how could she have let her go like this? Prita says that she told Roma that she would herself come to pick Piu, otherwise Roma should not let Piu leave. Then how did she let her go? Roma replies that Prita came to pick Piu. However, Prita says that she did not come to pick Piu. Just then, Prita gets a call from a contact. Prita answering the call immediately asks the person that who is on the other end of the call. She asks him if there has been any misunderstanding and where is Piu. The person says that they would only talk with Karan and Prita should give the phone to Karan. Karan also asks that where is Piu and they should give him the address and the person replies that they only give instructions and he has sent the photos which will prove that Piu is fine. Prita rushes to the front door where she picks the parcel. Karan questions the person to hand him his daughter. Prita immediately shouted at the kidnappers on the phone and the kidnapper asked Karan to go and see as she knows where is Piu. Raki is shocked after she takes the photo showing everyone how Piu is sitting on the chair. Prita shows Karan the photo and Karan wants the kidnapper to give him his daughter. He replies that he does everything for the sake of money and he will cut Karan after some time with the price that they would have to pay. Karan starts shouting. However, the kidnapper ends the call. Prita also requests Karan to do anything they ask and the entire family is shocked. Prita says that they can give any amount as Piu is really young and they really need to get him out from the kidnappers. Karan assures Prita that he will bring Piu back. Karina blames Prita saying that it is Prita's fault. Grandma also asks Prita that why did Prita not go there on time. Raki says that Prita should have gone on time to pick Piu. Mayesh asks that what are they doing as it is not the right time to blame Prita. Sonakshi also tries to blame Prita but Karan yells at Sonakshi demanding that she should shut up. Karina even leaves saying that they can do whatever they desire but Piu should be present in this house. Karan calls his friend Vinod requesting him for his help as he is an expert in the kidnapping cases. Vinod asks that who is the family. Karan replies that the person is his daughter and it should all be off record. Sonakshi enters her room crying 
and Charlene comes there assuring Sonakshi that everything will be fine. However, Charlene slaps Sonakshi, saying that Sonakshi should never try to play any mind game with her because she knows that Sonakshi did something with Prita's phone. Charlene assures Sonakshi that now, the Lutra family will throw her out of the house because she is not even worthy to be a mother as she herself got her daughter kidnapped. Charlene turns to leave, but Sonakshi stops Charlene. Charlene says that Sonakshi has a lot of faces and she is feeling that she should have praised Sonakshi. Had Sonakshi done anything with Prita's daughter, then she wouldn't have been angry, but Sonakshi did it to her own daughter. Sherilyn says that she doesn't even have any feelings for Prita, so why should she care? She will now always stand by Sonakshi, and they will make sure that the Lutra family really scold Prita for not being able to take care of Piu, and they would even humiliate her. Sonakshi is amazed by Sherilyn, and she says that she never thought that Sherilyn would be like this, so she has helped to join forces with Sherilyn, and they would both send Prita out of the Lutra house. Sonakshi receives a test from her father. Sherilyn asks if Sonakshi would even go today using the washroom, and Sonakshi replies that she has no other way. Shriti in her house asks Allah to give her the food since she is really hungry. She then receives a test from Samro, asking if she can come to their house without telling Salah. Shriti reading the test immediately leaves. The entire Lutra family is waiting for Vinod. Prita asks Karan to call Vinod, asking that why is it taking him so much time. Vinod enters, asking Karan that how did it all happen. Prita explains that she took Piu to the birthday party of her friend, and when it was time to pick her up, she got the message that Piu has been kidnapped. Vinod introduces his entire team to the Lutra family. Vinod asks if there is any table where they can set their equipment. Vinod asks if they are sure that every camera of the house is working, and he assures them that he would inform them how they would do everything, as they even have a call tracing machine, as when the kidnappers will call them to demand for the ransom, then that is when it will be easy for them to track the kidnappers. Vinod asks Karan to be ready, as the media will come to his house anytime soon. Karan asks that who inform the media, as he is not the police, while the Lutra family has not revealed anything. Vinod explains that he is a special agent, and they all know that the media has their sources. Piu sitting on the chair says that she wants to go back to her mother. The kidnapper is really glad to see Simi doll arriving, so they ask the doll to calm Piu down. The doll instead slaps the person, and the woman lifts her veil, and it is actually Sonakshi. Vinod asks the entire Lutra family to reveal any small details that they find suspicious. Vinod asks Prita if she saw anyone when she went to draw Piu, and if she was suspicious of anyone. He then asks Ashok to bring all the CCTV footage from the location where Prita dropped Piu. Ashok agrees to call his friend. Vinod requests Prita to give him the address. He also asks Ashish to check all the footage from one kilometer near the house of Roma. Raki falls down after feeling unconscious and she assures everyone that she is fine. Prita leaves asking Shelin to bring some water for Raki. Karina asks both Karan and Samu to help the kidnappers investigators. Sonakshi asks Rajiv, that is the kidnapper's leader, why he called her here, just because Piu was not eating. Rajiv wants Sonakshi never to slap him again because Sonakshi herself told them to take care of her daughter, but Piu was not eating anything. Then that was why they caught Sonakshi. Sonakshi asks Simi to go and give Piu a chocolate, after which Piu would eat it, and she asks Vin if he is sure that they will not be able to understand their voice and he assures them that they will not be able to realize the voice, but they would only judge that it is a girl. Sonakshi says that she would go and ask for ransom, as this would prove that Prita is not a good mother. Mahesh asks Prita that what has happened. Prita replies that she knew that the blood pressure of Raki has gotten low. Sherlyn brings the water. However, Raki refused to have the water, saying that she only demands Prita to bring Piu back, and she wonders how could Prita have made such a big mistake Otherwise, nothing would have happened to Piu. Sherilyn also started scolding Prita, saying that it is really Prita's fault, but does Prita really think that their pain will be any lower after what she has done? Alright guys, so these people are low-key telling us that the Lutra house has CCTV cameras installed in them, and all these things is going on in that house without them checking the camera to see the culprit. Really? Anyways, thank you so much guys for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, it is very important. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye, guys.